Before we start working with any audio, we'll need to configure our hardware and adjust the routing preferences for all of our ins, outs, mics, monitors, speakers, and so on. This can all be done from the Audition Preferences dialog. What we'll need to do is open Preferences. Since I'm on Windows right now, I can do that through Edit, Preferences, and then choose one of my preferences. I'm going to open General first off. If you are on Mac OS, you would get to this menu not by the Edit menu, but through Audition Preferences. Going down here, we can see our channel mapping and audio hardware. I would suggest you always start with audio hardware. And this is going to change a little bit depending upon which operating system you're using, Windows or macOS, and also what kind of audio interface you have connected to your particular machine. So since I am on Windows here, I can actually choose from a number of different driver models. I'm just going to keep it on MME. But if you wanted to use the native ASIO drivers, you could certainly do that as well. Or you could use the newer device class of Wasabi. For our default inputs, notice that I have selections here that are particular to my device. So I have a PreSonus. Studio 6.8 connected to my machine, and I can pull in from line in one and two. One and two is going to give me a stereo sound in this case, just because how I've configured my microphone. Many microphones and audio interfaces, they'll only give you one mono mic input. So having both of these is pretty nice because I can have a stereo signal. For a default output, I have my output mapped to my main out one and two. Again, a stereo signal, both left and right channels. And this is connected to my PreSonus Studio 6.8. For master clock, I'm actually using the main out of my PreSonus for this. And I've got my latency set to 200, which is the default. Now, if we look at some other device classes like Wasapi here, we can see that things look a little different. We can choose our device. There's my PreSonus. And we've got our latency setting here, and that's about it. If you're going the more traditional approach for ASIO, once again, you can choose your device from a number of drivers. And you can see I have a number of different drivers here. I'm using a USB based audio interface. So I'm going to choose the PreSonus Studio USB ASIO driver as my ASIO driver. Here's our ASIO buffer size and sample rate. So you can, of course, change these to your specific preferences. Again, I'm going to keep this at MME. And let's pop over to audio channel mapping. Once we have our hardware configured, we now have to decide how Audition is going to interpret the different channels, both in and out, to record and playback audio. So note here that the left channel is marked as mono in this case, and we have our right channel as well. But I've got these mapped to different inputs on my device. I could, of course, switch them if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. One and two is going to work out just fine for my left and right stereo inputs. For output, here are my left and right. We also have center um, and so forth. Here's some surround stuff. I only have two monitors connected to my computer, and they are left and right. So this is going to work out just fine. I'll just map the main out for my device hardware to channels one and two, respectively. With that configured, we can go ahead and hit OK. And we're ready to start recording, editing, and playing back audio inside of Audition.